Hello, YouTubers. Um, this video is going to talk about the PSM installation. Um, we're going to install PSM into our PPWA machine as well. So we have separate uh, server for Vault. We're going to have all color components, APM, PPWA, PSM component, which we are going to do it in this video. Uh, first thing, of course, you need to go to Secure File Exchange to download the uh, PSM release version 10.8. Um, once you download it, we're going to copy it to the, our virtual machine and uh, then starting to install it. It's going to take a bit of time to get it downloaded. Um, I'm going to pause it for now, pause the video, and then once it's downloaded, I'm going to copy it to our uh, PVWA machine here and uh, extract it out. So right now you can see our PVWA only have we only have Vault to be installed and the PVWA installed. Of course, the CPM come with PVWA together. Also installed. Um, yeah, we're gonna need uh, about uh, thirty minutes to finish this downloading. Uh, I will come back once it's uh, ready. After about 20 to 25 minutes waiting, uh, my PSM has been downloaded. I extract it and then copy it to uh, my PVWA server. Um, you're going to start to install it. Double click uh, setup.exe file. The installation widget. Gonna show up. For successful installation, CyberArk Privileged Session Manager requires remote desktop service to be installed. Would you like to continue install without it? This will install a partial PSM environment. Basically, there's um remote desktop service need to be installed first. So we're gonna say no first. We're gonna install that part here. So we need to make sure the Microsoft Remote Desktop Service session host is installed and configured. So let's do that. using raw based so server no desktop service it's um in a requirement is microsoft remote desktop service session host so we need to have this Install remote desktop service. I'm logging back to my PVWA and the PSM server again after it restarted. So in the previous step, we installed um, Microsoft Remote Desktop Service host. So now we can uh, do next step is installing the PSM. Go to the installation folder, double click setup.exe file. Since it's a lab environment, we don't have to configure license for it. You can feel free to run probably 120 days or 180, either 120 or 180 days. So privilege session 10.9.0.
Uh, this window comes up. It says it must be wrong. Um, privilege of session manager. So if I'm using a using a domain user, but I'm using a local administrator user. Um, if I'm not using that, if I'm not install a remote app feature, ah, that's fine. So you can deal with that license. Yes, Do your name or the name of the company for which you work. Installing Oracle Instant Client. Okay, let's wait. Currently, we're getting a warning message because uh, we are missing some um, Windows update, uh, but it's, an, it's a requirement to get the uh, CyberArk PSM working. But uh, for this lab, we are just trying to show you the installation steps. So in real environment, you may need to get your Windows update to the latest uh, uh, version. So we can safely click OK to get it done. So right now they are installing the files, copy everything into the folder. So based on that um, warning message, the SSH through PSM are not gonna work in, but we're gonna fix it later on. Um, but for now, we're just presenting the installation steps. That will be enough. So we need to get the route. So let's the route IP address and the port. Port is default CyberArk port 1858. And you need to enter the username, building the administrator user name and password. So CyberArk PSM is configuring your new software installation, a creating safe, um, store the configuration, updating the password vault, and the web access configuration file in the vault as well. So previously, when we log into PVWA, we won't be able to see the monitoring tab, which is a PSM tab, basically. And also in the policy, we are missing some enabling uh, monitoring those uh, configurations as well because uh, we are not installed PSM yet at that time. We need to create a let's do PSM one gateway. So uh, PSM and need two new, new users. Um, we just created with a new username. The installation gonna create a bunch of uh, default users and the groups, which can make uh, communication between Vault and the PSM. So that's normal process. It's almost done here. Um, it's registering PSM DILs to the system, setting up folder permissions, applying security policy. PSM gonna add in some configuration into the default master policy. So you can make those changes based on your company policy or security policy. Okay, it's starting the PSM service. Now system has to be rebooted. Uh, we're gonna do that. When this come back online, we're gonna refresh this PVWA screen again. So we will be able, to, we should be able to see a PSM component in the system health. We should be able to see the policy for the PSM. We should be see able to see the monitor tab here as well. So I can pause the windows recording and then, then come back later. Okay, system has been come back online. Um, we didn't install this remote desktop license yet. So it's gonna give you 120 days um, for you to use it for free. It should be enough for us. Um, I'm gonna log into our PVWA to give it a try again to see what's the difference. Our PVWA version is 11.1. Our PSM version is 10.8, which is still in a supporting mode. Um, let's uh, try to log in here. Okay, so we can see PSM component. If we go into policy, 
policy by platform, master policy. There's a session manager here. So to use uh, PSM, you have to enable, I mean, activate this option right now. PSM is not monitoring and isolating your sessions. So that's the uh, first thing you need to do once you finish the install PSM. Thank you for watching. Uh, please give me a thumb up and subscribe, subscribe to my channel.